pleasant 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 good morning good morning to my family in Christ pleasant good morning to all the well wishers my name is sister Anne Marie and welcome back to another morning devotion with HEDM the house with a difference my topic today is going to talk about pride so before I start, I'm going to give a little song. Something deep down inside telling me to go. Something deep down inside telling me to go. Something deep down inside telling me to go on, go on, go on. Something deep down inside telling me to go on. Something deep down inside telling me to go on. Something deep down inside telling me to go on, go on, go on, go on. Something deep down inside telling me to go on. Something deep down inside telling me to go on. Something deep down inside telling me to go on, go on. Want to see the glory of the Lord? Why don't you praise Him? Lift up your hands and praise Him. You want to see the glory of the Lord? Why don't you lift up your hands and praise the Lord? Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him in the the glory of the Lord why don't you praise him lift up your hands and praise him you want to see the glory of the Lord why don't you lift up your hands and praise the Lord praise him in the morning praise him in the evening praise him in the noontime long lift up your hands and praise the lord heavenly father i come before you one more time this morning dear father god thanking you for waking all of all of us up this morning thank you dear father god for your many blessings that you show unto us dear father god thank you dear jesus for health and strength dear father god thank you for those who go out to work this morning to make it their father god father god i ask that you lead them their father god and bring them back safe their father god cover them their father god because we know there are dangers looking over them their father god father god i ask that you stretch your hands over them and bless them as they do their endeavors their father god i want to bless all their father god the viewers their father god who listen to us on a daily basis their father god father god i i hope dear god that every word that was said there father god and that they get a message there father god and all the message we are trying to teach them there father god that god is love and god loved them and god want us to live in one accord in almighty name no other name but in jesus almighty name today i'm going to talk about pride pride is a quality or a state of being proud, confidence, and satisfaction in oneself, self-respect. Pride is the most destructive thing in the world. It makes you feel that you are better than people, you are better than everyone else, and it is a people-pleasing. God hates pride. I will say it again. God hates pride. Why do God hate pride? Because pride hinder our relationship with him. 
Pride makes us feel that we don't need anything from God. We don't need help. We don't need to pray. We don't need his love. We don't need his mercy. Let me encourage you, my family. We need God. We need God for everything. We ought to humble ourselves and our hearts. God loves humility. Satan was kicked out of heaven because of pride. He wanted to be on the same level with God. He felt that he didn't need God's help. He knows everything. Pride is all about me, myself, and I. I don't I know everything. I don't need you. I am successful. You are all about you and you and you and I and I and I. James 4.16 says, God resisted the proud, but give grace to the humble. Pride is an attitude of independence from God. In Proverbs 16, 16 to 19, says, How much better it is to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth therefore destruction and an odd spirit before, before a fall. Family, pride makes it difficult for someone to love you. Why? Because you are selfish. You are thoughtful, thoughtless in your thinking and in your actions. As I said, God hates pride. We must learn to hate what God hates and love what God loves. We ought to be a kingdom, a kingdom builder for God. And family, that's the few words I leave with you. Have a blessed and productive day until our next devotion.